there's a lot of girls that I hang out with. There's one in particular that kind of stands out, and her name is Sienna. Not one. Sienna, she has connections. She's a girl about town, she knows people, and I was talking to her, I was like, you know something? I need to sing. And she was like, um, you ever sing the National Anthem? I was like, can you get me a singing that? She was like, I know somebody. She popped open her phone. She said, okay, we have an interview. She talked right to the person that was in charge of, like, you know, the, the New Orleans brass. I was like, um, the hockey team here? I'm trying to make sure that when I leave here that I do not regret a single day. I've got to make every single effort that I possibly can. And to make that effort is doing it with music because that is what the gift is. Everybody wants a bike. Don't happen overnight. So you want to be a rock superstar? I'm not gonna mic you to try out. So you can just stand right here and go to that. Can I just take it in for a second? You sure can. I'm just taking it in. Whenever you're ready. I ain't. I Have mean, you ever sang before a live audience? Well, like little, like little school basketball games. Uh -huh. Like look, make like 50 people. This is big school, so just we have to hear you. <clears throat> oh say. I'm hoping that works out because I would love to sing in front of 10,000 people, and I will never, never forget that. Ever. Producing this show is very hard. I've been up since about six o'clock this morning. I'm doing a lot of the stuff right now. On your own? Now. Yeah. Okay. So right. um, I got a show to put on on Saturday. And I know damn well that, you know, nobody's going to work as hard as I'm working. Now, even though obviously you're the producer for this particular mm -hmm. show, you've got the other members involved in helping. Yeah, I the, yeah and I told them I gave them ideas of what I want them to do. But I'm just a little concerned at this point. you got to get the rest of the team out there rolling because time is a clicking. You can't do it all by yourself. It, it's physically impossible. All right. Cool. Thanks, up. Okay. Well, what's going on? Dave is in control, but he's not telling us anything. I feel like he's going to make the entire show. Wouldn't surprise me. He hasn't said a single word to any. Like, he won't even tell us what he wants the segments to be about. Last night, he just kept saying, well, yo, yo, you know, like, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, like, I need, like, a guideline sheet or something. Just because he's a producer doesn't mean that we're going to agree with his topics, you know? Yeah. Whatever. I'll push the buttons, and I'll do what he says. I don't care. Well, it's his, it's his thing. I think that's the whole point. What? You know, like, if he's going to be producer, then that's the whole point. Like, it's your show. We are just, like, employees. Maybe he's not working with the rest of us as much as he could. If you want something done right, you might as well do it yourself is kind of the attitude he's adopting. This meeting is just basically saying, look, okay, a lot of stuff is done. I mean, I, mean, I have a... A blueprint of what the show is going to be like. Haven't typed it yet, but the new topic is um, why relationships don't last as long, and also interracial dating. Um, what is the uh, consensus about interracial? Would you like me to do some research on interracial dating? I mean, I have a lot to say about it because I'm a product of an interracial marriage. That's love. So. That's love. So if, and then if I'm a, <coughs> every relationship I get into, I have no choice but to be interracial. So. Mm. <laughs> Multiracial, neutral, racial, whatever. That's love. But I got a couple coming in as far as interracial dating thing. I also have a. Input is not appreciated. I get nothing but rejection when I put my two cents in. As far as the set is concerned, we have a band coming in for the third segment. I can give you the particulars as far as what they're bringing, keyboards, blah, 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 woo, woo, and I'll give you like your responsibilities tomorrow. But also at two, I'm meeting the band that's supposed to be playing on Saturday. I mean, we still have to be in the office tomorrow. You know, practice on the cameras because, I mean, basically. With the band now, they do a lot of pan shots, a lot of quick shots, things like that. You can go. He's got this wall between himself and the rest of us. Quick, can you ask Stephanie for the number to this phone, please? It's like 1:30. I think that's the right number. I have got to meet with the manager of the band that's supposed to be performing on Saturday, and that's at two. And the car is gone. Could you have ADD? Hey, I that's the art of like... Jamie's chilling. Um, Matt's at the computer, but nobody else is in there. Nobody's in the editing suite. Nobody's in the production suite. Nobody is anywhere. At the tone, please leave your voice or numeric message. I'm paging everybody. I'm just paging, like, 1-800, page, page, page. They knew the night before that I had to go to this meeting. The number... And it's bothering me. It's bothering me a lot. So what do you guys want 
do you want to go right back to work right now? Yes. Yes, yeah, so you can get yelled at. Yes, please. Take me quickly. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they're just dissing their boss. I mean, they're dissing David. I have a band waiting to meet with me, but this can just, just mess it all up. I'll make my appointment. That's no problem. But if they don't call and I have to leave in a cab, I will be one pissed person. So I advise somebody to be there when I see them again to separate me, because I will go off. He's been working so hard. He's so mad. He's like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and that is not love. <laughs> tell them when they get back, tell them they shouldn't have left and I'm pissed and I'm going to ring the ass. You can say that any way you want to. OK, thank you so much. That's all you need. What's the David and I end up hitching a ride to meet with the manager for Mental Metropolis. Right, it's been a pleasure. You, I'll, I'll... I'm having issues because the only person that's really, really working hard besides myself is Matt. And from what we discussed, it was understood that we were to be in the office from noon till 4. They know they're in the wrong. You know what I mean? As a producer, to be like, you know what? Y'all let me down. I had a meeting at 2. You know, Matt and I, we made it. We talked to him, but at the same time, we shouldn't have had to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have a, a level one storm. I don't have a level two storm. Everything's like level six. And level six is not a good place to be. And right now, I'm at level six. All right, well, tell me how I can help bring you down to calm, because I don't want people to push off what you have to say. On Matt and Dave was a team, dude. I got all I need in Matt. Just having your presence there will help me be calm. I want to make sure things come out right. OK. Just be there. All right. Just be there. And if we can do a favor, everybody sit over there for a second, please. Let's get this over real quick. I'm holding myself back. I'm holding myself back. I am a little bit disappointed. I told you guys yesterday, I was going for a little brief little meeting, and you guys aren't there. And I wasn't understanding exactly what was going on, because I'm understanding that from the, the very first show, from the very first understanding, 12 to 4 is an OATV time, and that's all. It's just from 12 to 4, there is no deviation. Well, but we have deviated in the past. We right, but see, but, but the thing, but see, the, that's the thing. We're supposed to be in the office. We're in the office. Okay, that's not the. the I'm not going to argue with you, but you're wrong. He sits there and he lectures us about the same things that he just got through doing three weeks before. That's what it is. No deviation. It's 12 to 4. I don't care if you're twiddling your thumbs. You're there. He's being the biggest hypocrite I've ever seen. You let me know what's up. Because this is this is okay, my dad. Dave, I am not gonna home. be lecturing like yeah. so by my dad when by somebody like nobody in this room is gonna lecture me when well, well, first of all this is this is work. You can't work four hours with him. Okay. Okay. Nobody's got any room to be talking in this room, first of all, on that issue. The end of it. Nobody does. We agree well, we that what, we do what, field work for delegated for us to do. Like okay, that. okay, okay. What that's, we, okay, now who's talking? Who's, who's talking to you? You talking to you, babe? Go ahead. About what you're saying? No, I'm finished, Dave. Thanks. No, seriously. No, I'm really, I'm finished. Okay, really, no seriously. David took his leadership responsibility to this next level of dictatorship. You can say what happened in the past. I really don't give a damn. You should respect the fact that it was a mistake. We have apologized. Mm -hmm. But from this misunderstanding, there will be no one boss no. on one. I mean, that's, 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 that's just too easy. Well, Look, this, the this, the Dave, Dave, the point mm -hmm. is the point. that you got your work done and you did it well. Mm -hmm. And that was the bottom line. And I think that's what we all need to understand is that mm -hmm. we all need to get our work done and do it well. All right, this, well, this, this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. OK, this is the thing. Tomorrow, 12 to 4. Period. 12 to 4. You do your job. You understand? That's it. I know that he's frustrated, and he just doesn't know the right way to, like, get it across without making everybody defensive. I was fine, like, I was legitimate about the car, yada yada, he needed it. I didn't get pissed off until he started in with this, when I say 24, you better be there. Uh-uh. When I get lectured in that way, it just makes me go crazy. That but was it's my like dad talking. He's trying to say something that's right. That, that he just says valid. it wrong. Well, I'm proud of him for keeping his cool because I know how easy it is for him to get all wound up. He says it the wrong way. He needs like communication skills one on one. It's like how to get off. what you want without pissing everybody off. This is great.
great. Yeah. Yeah. Sienna said, I'll get ready to sing it on the 27th. That just boggles my mind. You know, David is an only child. I don't really think that David developed the communication skills that you usually get with brothers and sisters. When did your parents get divorced? I was 10 years ago. I was 12. I grew up with my mom. Um, my dad, our relationship isn't too good. I'm just not interested. I don't know, it just seems like he's trying to make up for like 10 years of not being there. Which is cool, you can try to make up 10 years. I just won't be able to make it up with you. He wasn't there for me. The strength that I have to be so gung-ho and so determined, so full of desire to achieve everything that I can, you know, it's because of what he didn't do that makes me that way. So how'd your mother deal with it? She, she showed me, you know, her face was like, you know, I'm strong. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, whatever like that. There's plenty of times I heard her cry, you know what I'm saying? I know it tore up. I realize that she is the single most important person in his life. That's it, you know what I'm saying? The foundation is just her and me, you know? Just her and me. Hey, Ma. Hey, how you doing? I know you were asleep. I'm sorry. Okay, what's up? Nothing. Do you think you'll be able to come down and hear me sing the national anthem? This is by far the biggest crowd I will ever have sang in front of. And I'm thinking, you know, your ma should be here. Um, are you doing something or you just want me to come down? I'm singing national anthem. What you mean? Are you oh awake? Oh, my God. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I think I should call you when you're awake. If you wouldn't even be able to do it, because I didn't know whether, you know, you were free or whatever like that. To have my mom's here for me singing a national anthem and to see her baby up there, it would just be an amazing thing because it's like she knows that I try real hard to like make her proud. Hey. Alright, I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. To this side. Being producer, it's a lot of work, but it's a rush. Show, man. It's a rush. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a show. It's gonna be a show. This show, it's like I'm setting the standards. I am so setting the standards, but I push the envelope half a band. I'm setting standards. I believe with all my heart that the roommates want to see me fail at this show. They want me to. 10 minutes. But now it's time to establish myself. My show is gonna be the bomb. Here we go. 10 seconds. Five, four. The winning combination. Three, two. Good evening, and welcome to the Real Seven on Channel Seventy Seven. We have with us today Elder Alvis' favorite, and hopefully this is the second show. Everyone is a little bit more at ease with this show. And what about the children of interracial marriages? I believe that the children, they undergo a large amount of stress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, due to the <laughs> fact that... <laughs> yes, they do. Countdown. <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. Kill them off. Ladies and gentlemen, for your listening enjoyment, Mental Metropolis. Ah. Say, bro, I'm more renowned for microphone assassination. One line can make some up. This show was tight. We brought it up another level. It was the tightest show we've ever had. Woo woo. See you guys next Saturday at 7 on 77. That's love. See you later now. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Ah, I'm love. Frank, guys, I'm really proud. You guys are really moving along very, very nicely. It just keeps getting better. Uh, you know, you guys now have a live band. <laughs> Next two, next three. Dave gets the job done. The second show was an absolute success. We got in there, got it done, you know, flawless victory. David is determined and motivated and talented. I'm very proud of you. That came together very well. There is so much more to him than playing women and working out. With the show and everything, so much had to come together for today. It's too bad that somebody with talent and all that he has going for him has to be such an ass. David, you have to change your worldview. The only way that you can really excel in this world is with the help of others. 
we're there for you. We can be there for you. Today is the day. Sing a national anthem, it'll be a big thing. This is it. Mama's in and everything. I can't even explain how excited I am about that. I can't wait to give her a big ass hug, big old hug. If I say big ass around my mom, she'll kill me. When I was a kid, there was times where she spent like long periods at the hospital. Because I don't know. I feel that almost that I have to make some big impact on the world so that I can like make sure that my mom has no worries. You know, I'm glad she's here to, to witness this. We both understand right now that this is huge. I mean, for two minutes, I'm the person everybody's listening to. This whole thing is just gonna be weird. It's like, it's just like boggling my mind. I think it is, because you sit here, I'm just thinking that like you're scared. Now, it's, it's cool to be nervous, right? It's, like, it's, it's just, nervous, man, right? it's just... Ultimately, this could, like, make or break me. You know, I mean, it's... You put all that pressure on yourself, Taylor. Yeah, but if I do, if I do, it, if I do it well... If you just do your best, you don't have to have all this pressure. You just go out there, put no effort into it, do your best, and blast them. I want to show her that she's done a hell of a job. I had, like, two hours until it's showtime. Just seven. Do you look nice? I am I'm frightened. It's fine. You'll be fine. Butterflies, forget butterflies. We talking like, you know, piranhas just up in the stomach. This is it. Thanks a lot. See ya. Me doing this well is a knock against people who said I could never do it, who in the past have said you, you'd never make it, you never do anything serious. You know, this is this is all about redemption. Whenever I sing, it's always about redemption. It's almost like a defining moment. Who knows what would happen if I sing this well? Oh, oh, there he is, there he is! And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll please stand for our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by Once I get started, everything just flows. You can't stop. You know, it's not like I can say, okay, I'm starting over, sorry. We're so gallantly streaming And the rockets regret The bombs bursting in air When he hits certain parts of the song, I get the chills. Shay does that star Bring it down, bring it down. I look over at Melissa and there are tears in her eyes. And the He's amazing. We are all very proud of him. Here I am, Ma. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>